Okay, so hey guys, it's Quincy, and today we're going to discuss a method to implement a recursive Fibonacci program. In the Fibonacci series, the next number is the sum of the previous two numbers. You can take an example of 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 5, along with 8, and so on and so forth. As you can see, we take the latest two numbers, for example, 0 and 1, add them to get the third number. Next, we take 1 plus 2 and add that and get 3. Next, we take 2 and 3 and add that to get 5. We consider the first two numbers to be 0 and 1 and begin from there. Let's start with the main function. The main function is over here. The first line has a for loop in which the variable x iterates from 0 through 10 minus 1, which is 9. With each of those iterations, the Fibonacci function is called. According to the logic we are using in this program, the more amount of times you call the Fibonacci function, coupled with the increasing values of x, the more numbers you can print. The Fibonacci function is a recursive function and so we have to account for the base case as you can see here. There is not one but two base cases in this program. The conditions for when the number is 0 and for when the number is 1. If the number is 0, return 0. And if the number is 1, return 1. These lines will end the program before it crashes and burns. As we saw in the introduction, the addition of the previous two numbers in the series will give you the next number. As a result, in the third condition, we return Fibonacci number minus 1 plus Fibonacci number minus 2. These constructs will call the Fibonacci function again and again until the number is reduced to 0 or 1. And in such a case, would return 0 or 1 and then start to build the result, that is the solution. As you can see in the visualization, the first function we call is the Fibonacci of 5. Fibonacci of 5 in turn calls 4, Fibonacci of 4 and Fibonacci of 3. This in turn calls 3 and 2 and 2 and 1 and so on and so forth until it gets to the base cases. The base cases as we defined were 1 and 0. Fibonacci of 1 returns 1 and Fibonacci of 0 returns 0. 1 plus 0 gives me 1. Similarly, Fibonacci of 1 here returns 1 so 1 plus 1 gives me 2. And the same process happens over and over again until we add them and get 5 at the top. And that's how the function works. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, the code and its description is in the description. So, yeah, check it out. And later.